Forex Focus brought to you by IG, taking a look at Forex trading hours and when you should trade Forex. Of course, you know, there's no best time in terms of uh, when you can make money or lose money. This market goes up during these hours or goes down. But, um, you know, depending on what time of the day it is and depending on which part of the world is in session, you might get better liquidity, you might get bigger moves. Um, and we want to analyze all of that for you here today to uh, essentially set you up for some of the most liquid and potentially opportunistic uh, times of day in terms of uh, volatility around economic events and everything else. But let's first start with the trading hours in the Forex market, because it's uh, very different than your stock market or even your futures market, um, as Forex trading is open 24 hours a day from Sunday night until Friday night, um, as opposed to futures. Similar schedule, um, but they open up on Sunday night, for example, and then they close for an hour uh, Monday night going into Tuesday, and then same thing Tuesday night going into Wednesday, closed for an hour. And then the stock market, as uh, well you know, is closed for uh, a lot of uh, hours every single day, except for um, those that have after-hour trading. And then, of course, there's crypto. That's open 24-7. Uh, but Forex is close to that crypto piece at 24.5. Um, and, and here's what you're looking at on a weekly basis um, from that Sunday night until that Friday night. Market isn't closed. Um, you can, in theory, trade any of those hours, ex excluding, of course, holidays or what's going on uh, in your part of the world. Um, but Something worth mentioning is that not all those hours are equal when it comes to liquidity uh, and access to every single Forex pair. Um, and, and this is something that I think is worth diving into, especially for new Forex traders. Um, market overlaps are some of the most liquid times of day for Forex markets. And when I talk about overlaps. I'm talking about Asia going into Europe when there are participants in the Asian market and in the European market, and then also Europe going into uh, the U.S. And of course, you know, the, the market and society, everything is so modern these days that there are people in Asia that are trading during U.S. hours. There are people in Europe that are trading during Asia, and there are people who are up all day trading. Uh, and all night. Um, but when the, for example, uh, Tokyo Stock Exchange is open and the London Stock Exchange is open around uh, you know 2 to 6 uh, a.m. Um, Eastern time, you have two huge parts of the world and so many market participants in the market that you tend to see more liquid markets, especially for Asian currencies and European currencies. Same goes for when the London Stock Exchange is still open and the US, uh, the New York Stock Exchange has opened as well, um, especially for you know Euro versus US dollar or pound versus US dollar, uh, tends to be better liquidity given how many market participants in the market and by liquidity uh, in Forex, of course, we mean spreads, and, and spreads are the major cost uh, to trading. And so, for example, for the euro versus the US dollar, you might see a 0.8 pip spread when there's overlap between the US session and the European session, whereas you might see 1.2 pips or even wider, out to two, three pips, or, or some. Uh, minor pairs or exotic pairs can see you know, 20, 30, 40 pips wide, especially when uh, no session is open uh, or there's only one and it's not the session of one of the currencies there. So definitely something to note. And, and also this time of day uh, factors into volatility as well. And here I highlighted in these boxes uh, some of the overlap between Europe and U.S. and then also, the majority of the U.S. session, we see big moves for a major pair like Euro USD, and, and that makes sense, right? Europe is awake, and then also Europe, U.S. is awake. There's more news coming out, and there's also more economic data releases uh, just in general 
during those hours. And here's, you know, first week of November, for example, you have employment data from the U.S., you have manufacturing data from the U.S. all coming out uh, in that, you know, around 8 to 10 a.m. Eastern time frame. And then when you have German data coming out, you have U.K. data coming out, that's, you know, 2, 3, 4 a.m., uh, going into the U.S. session around 8, 9 a.m. And so high priority events usually occur during that early morning. Of course, you have Australia and Japan that will report data earlier or during the night, depending on where you're at. Um, but there are a, a few different reasons to, one, be looking at the overlap between markets, especially when you're talking about liquidity and spread and cost of trade. But two, be looking at that European and uh, U.S. session when it comes to potential opportunity, volatility around major economic data releases and news in general. 